Alright, what's up, YouTube? Hey, coming to you, Captain Awesome's Fish Room. Finally got the package from Forrest. Uh, you know, y'all know USPS sucks balls, but here's one of the Midas's, alive and well. It's gonna be quick, guys, because I wanna I wanna hurry up and get these guys in there. Uh, there's a bean eye, alive and well. Uh, another bean eye, alive and well. And guys, mind you, this is a day late and a dollar short because of USPS, Midas, alive and well. Uh, Motoguins, alive and very well. Awesome colors. Uh, bean eye, we got one. We got one floater. Bean eye, guys. This is a dollar or uh, a day late. So I mean, that's no fault of uh, of Forrest there. Let's see, we got bean eye or I'm sorry, umbies alive and well in there kicking little fry. Doing fantastic. Let's see, Bean Eye. Another Bean Eye, live and well. Only one DOA so far, guys. Only one DOA. Uh, these, I have no doubt, are alive uh, because these are the breather bags. Yep. You see them swimming around up there. Sorry if it's not focused, guys, but there's a, let's see, one. Looks like two maybe three inside there alive and well another one here alive and well yep uh, let's see here make sure there's no more fish and uh the the box was in good condition except uh, one of these tops was kind of open and you can tell where they kind of taped over it uh, so you know they treated it like crap um, sent me a whole bunch of airline tubing guys uh, I can't wait to eat these fish they're gonna be so good in my dinner tonight and uh, sent me let's see and a little let's I'm assuming this is his mix. This is what he used to feed his fry. He mixed it himself. Awesome. Got me some jumbo NLS, the floating kind. Uh, we're gonna try to get this uh, get this in Big Rig's diet. Uh, let's see, I can't read this, but I think I think these are the these may be the krill pellets. I'm not completely sure, guys. Uh, I'm kind of rushing around trying to trying to get these fish acclimated but only one DOA and it was a bean eye those are kind of a more sensitive fish uh, he definitely beat my record with the package I sent to him uh, I think that had uh, quite a few DOAs um, but only lost one bean eye got some umbies got a moda gwens uh, got those Midases. I was really pumped about these Midases guys uh, and got some some uh, more umbie action so only one DOA. Guys, if y'all want to order fish from somebody who's going to get them to you alive, even if they arrive late, order them from Forrest. does a badass job. Uh, you can see, I mean, the heat packs were still warm. Still warm. Definitely had uh, lots of insulation in there. Um, lots of filter floss and newspaper and uh, the, you know, the, the foam covers. So... Yeah, guys, I'm going to get these acclimated, and just like Forrest said, I'm not going to waste y'all's time showing y'all that. Um, it's not even an emergency acclimation, uh, to be honest with you. All these guys have uh, lots of energy, uh, lots of life to them. I mean, they're not even huffing and puffing, guys. So, uh, one DOA, uh, day late, uh, I'm digging it. So, again, Forrest, buddy, thank you. Uh, awesome, awesome job, uh, you know. <laughs> definitely got some skills with packing so with that said guys hope you enjoyed the video be sure to rate comment and subscribe and we'll see y'all next time adios what's up YouTube you didn't really think that was all I was gonna leave you with right 
No, I just, uh, I had to, I wanted to hurry up and get them acclimated, you know, they, they had been in the box, you know, just way too long because of USPS, and I do want to reiterate that, um, you know, they came late because of USPS, guys, uh, you know, nothing that Forrest did, um, had anything to do with that, as a matter of fact, everything Forrest did, uh, made these fish survive, and, uh, you know, come in real nice and healthy and vibrant, um, homeboy sent me some good foods here, um, when I get these opened up, you know, I'll show them to you and stuff like that, I'll do a little feeding video, I'm really stoked about this Jumbo NLS right here, guys, um, because I, I've been, you know, trying to get Big Rig over to the NLS, and I think that because these float, he may take them, so, uh, you know, stay tuned for that, and I got a ton, a ton of airline tubing, look at this, guys, uh, so thank you, Buddy Forrest. Thank you, my brother from another mother. Anyways, guys, got the fish all acclimated. Um, and uh, right there, you can see a bean eye. Just looking fantastic. Um, now, I have them all in here with the Festes and my Magnum X Umbies. Uh, they're, they're all doing exceptional. Uh, you can see a Midas right there. Um, I was really stoked to get these Midas guys. Um, I love Amphilophus species, and uh, these Midas actually uh, came from uh, Mel O'Meara's uh, big pair, so I'm really, really excited to have these. These are definitely a good bloodline. Look at that. Look at that bean eye right there, guys. Look at the bean eye. Super, super, super colored up already. And I've also already fed these guys. They're already eating, guys. Uh, the day they come out of the bag, they're eating. You can see the moda right there. Paracromus moda blends. Just looking awesome. Um, you know, I, I like you know, y'all saw inside the previous clip. Uh, you know, we only had one DOA, um, and the rest of them, they were, you know, ecstatic inside the bag. You know, they were they were jumping around, uh, very very active. Um, I'm really digging these bean eye. Look at them. God, man. Look at that one right there. Look at that bean eye. Just looking awesome. All these fish are super, super healthy. Uh, just goes to show that uh, my boy Forrest uh, definitely knows how to raise cichlids. Uh, these Midas guys. These Midas I'm super pumped about. Um, let's see what else we got going on in here you can see the the magnum x umby swimming around guys these suit these guys are super freckled um, but uh, you know yesterday I also got a package in uh, from my boy Ryan um, I did an unboxing of it but for some reason when I tried to upload it to YouTube uh, it deleted the video from my phone and didn't upload it um, but my boy Ryan sent me some plants um, you know, sent me some Bacopa, I got it right here, sent me some, uh, some Crips that I got there, um, also sent me some hair grass, you can see that right there, um, sent me, uh, the, the most important part of the shipment was the water hyacinth and, uh, the salvania right here, the, the floating plant, um, also got, uh, from a different shipment yesterday, got some water lettuce right there, you can see, um, I got this nice big old uh, uh, Anubius Giganica right there. You can see the nice looking spade shaped leaves. Uh, so I got that. Um, also got, um, I got two of these. Um, these right here are pitcher plants, guys. Uh, P-I-T-C-H-E-R. And they're a carnivorous plant. You can see these little uh, flower looking growths. Those are actually throats. And there's a, there's a tip to them right here that opens up. Um, and just like a Venus flytrap, when like a fly or a wasp or something goes in there, this top shuts and it eats it. I got two of these. I got one for my mother as well. Um, it's kind of like a surprise. Um, and that's the reason I got the water hyacinth as well too. Uh, and the salvania is, um, you know, she wanted some uh, floating plants for her turtle tank that would last and stuff like that. I um, also got her some water lettuce, and uh, thankfully uh, the turtles haven't touched the salvania in her tank and haven't touched the water lettuce, uh, but they're really digging the water hyacinth. So I'm going to have to figure out a, a little potting type deal for them. But <clears throat> back to um, 
the, uh, well, I guess we were already talking about the shipment I got yesterday. Um, I want to send a huge shout out to my boy Ryan. Um, you know, did an awesome job packing those plants. Uh, it was just phenomenal. And, uh, you know, thank you, buddy. Uh, you know, I'm not going to use your whole name because uh, the nature of these plants uh, really isn't, um, you know, really isn't uh, something I should do. But anyways, um, back to the fish, guys. Uh, as far as the package that Forrest sent me, God almighty, these fish. Um, and, you know, I, I know I said it in the last video, guys, but if y'all want to buy some quality fish and, you know, you want to make sure they get to you and even if they run late it just goes to show that his packing job is phenomenal okay I mean all these fish came in healthy only had one die off and that was a sensitive fish it was a bean eye so I mean in my book it was a perfect shipment uh, perfect packaging um, you know the the heat packs were still warm and it, you know just an awesome all-around job and uh, you know, I, I couldn't have asked for more. Um, I can't. I can't wait to separate these guys out inside their own tanks, especially these Midas. Um, I'm super pumped to have them. Uh, and those Bean Eye, man. I, God, they look just. I mean, they're looking awesome. You can see one of them back there, kind of hiding. Uh, they're already starting to honeycomb up a little bit. Uh, you know, you really can't see it on the video, guys. But in real life, these Bean Eye are just fantastic. Um, and let's see what else do we have in here uh, I want to get y'all a good shot of these uh, Magnum X umbies uh, as far as how freckled up they are it's such a young age but they move around so look at that bean eye guys I'm really digging those guys look at them look at them not afraid or anything just looking but yeah guys so <coughs> I just wanted to, you know, uh, come back and show y'all. I uh, didn't want y'all to think I was just going to leave y'all with a quick unboxing and then, uh, you know, hope you enjoyed the video. But, um, you know, everything's going well. Um, you know, of course, I'll, I'll always do business with Forrest, guys. And if any of y'all see fish that you want, uh, especially his Rio Magdalena Umby, guys, um, I have those over here, as a matter of fact. I got the Rio Mags in with the, with the Gorillas Blacks. You can see them right there, and they're doing awesome as well, guys. I didn't have I didn't have any of them die off out of that. Uh, like I said, it was just the that one B9 inside the shipment, and I'm convinced that it was uh, USPS's fault. Um, you know, they they always bring it late, guys. They always bring it late. Um, but thank God it was Forrest that sent them, guys, because if it wasn't Forrest that sent them, I'm convinced every fish would have been dead. So. Uh, with that said, you know, uh, if you see a fish that you like that Forrest has, you know, hit him up. Uh, he'll he'll get him to you for sure. And, you know, his fish are definitely healthy. You can see that. Those Rio Mags are awesome. Can't wait to get a, a female for my big boy micro machine over there. But, yeah, guys, so with that said, hope y'all... Enjoyed the video this time. Oh, I did a new scape on the Gorillas Blue Tank. You know, it's 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 not a hundred percent, but it's definitely better than what it was looking. And uh, you know, I got a lot of little hiding places for the female. You can see it's kind of towered up, so she has places to hide. And you know, she's still hanging out up there for some reason. This guy's a beast. But yeah, guys. So. You know, be sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Go check out my boy Cichlid Man on Nine's channel. Sub him up. Uh, if you haven't subbed to him already, there is definitely something wrong. Uh, that cat knows his stuff and uh, can definitely help you out with anything that you need. So you know, hit him up, ask him questions, make sure you watch his videos and subscribe to him. And that's it, guys. That's all I got. So this is what I'm doing. This is what I've done. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, and we'll see y'all next time. Adios.